Hey folks, so I'm Caleb and today on the Gun Buff channel we are going to take a look at the Star BM 9mm all steel 1911 style pistol. Let's move the camera so you can take a closer look at it with me. Okay, so most of these imported Star BMs uh, are coming in with the original box. Some don't have it, but most of them are going to have the box, which is just cardboard. Um, they're going to have the original Star manual which is very nice um, it is in Spanish um, some of them have English and Spanish but this one does not this one is just so you can see it there this is in Espanol so it is a very cool little piece of gun history I like it a lot so it's gonna come with Two mags, right? An extra mag and one in the gun. A completely useless all steel cleaning rod and the weapon itself. So we'll start with the mags. They're all steel. They are going to have some wear, obviously. They have the steel, um, stainless steel followers, but they're really well made. Um, for whatever reason, this one was marked red and blue. I'm not sure why, um, but they are decent little. And I forgot to mention that these mags hold eight rounds, so you could, you know, do one in the pipe and and eight for a total of nine. Um, and they're just, you know, they. You can see that they have some wear on them, right? And they. Um, obviously have been marked before by whatever law enforcement uh, or military unit used these um, in Spain but they are really well made they're not thin sheet metal um, it is seems to be um, absolutely completely fine um, you can break them down they have um, this button on the bottom, you push that, slide it off, take your spring and follower out, clean it, put it back together. And I would say that when you get these, nine times out of ten, they're going to be pretty grimy. They have Cosmoline covering them pretty extensively. So we will function check this little dude right there. Nothing in the chamber, no mag in the gun. So... This is a 1911 style pistol. So the first thing you're going to notice is it's all steel. It's roughly a commander size, a little bit smaller than a commander. It has black on black notch sights, as you can see. Um, it does have a safety that's very 1911-like, right? So your thumb can easily sit right there on it. I have smaller hands, and you can see that I have plenty there. So even if you had slightly larger hands, I think this would not be a problem. Um, it has a fairly familiar uh, slide, stop, and release. Rear serrations, obviously. And now we start getting into the differences between this and a traditional 1911. The grips are Star BM only. They do make wood ones, and these, uh, most of the ones I've seen recently have uh, black polymer. It is a slightly, and I do mean ever so slightly, beveled uh, magwell. Um, the model designation is stamped in the bottom. Uh, it has a traditional browning push release um, on the frame. Um, it has an external extractor, which, as you all know, is not very traditional to 1911s. Um, it also has the ability to, even though it's single action, right, it has the ability to put the safety on, obviously, while it's cocked and locked, and you have the ability to put the safety on when the hammer is down. So you could, in theory, carry it like this, and then sweep your safety off and cock your hammer and go to town. Now, why you would want to do that, I'm not sure. But you can have it hammered down on a loaded chamber and put the safety on. Now, you probably noticed that before that it does have a magazine disconnect safety. So, no mag in the gun. Gun is fully cocked, but I cannot get it to fire. Um, that's a bummer. You know, sometimes uh, people 
dislike that. Sometimes it's not a big deal. For me, it's a big deal. Um, even if I'm down to my last round and have no magazine in the gun because maybe I lost it or maybe it got damaged or maybe it's having a malfunction or maybe a bad guy got my mag somehow. I don't know, but I like the ability to, to fire my gun um, in any condition, not just when it has a, a loaded magazine in it. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, but it is a nice feeling gun because it has the ergos of a 1911. So it should shoot really well. Um, it should point really well. You'll see that, that the import marks there from Century Arms International is pretty loud and proud there. At least it's not white. But um, most of these that you're going to find are matching serial numbers. But then they get a new serial number when they come in and get imported. So uh, there's the maker's mark right there, um, which is pretty large on these guns. It really doesn't matter which star you get. They're all pretty loud and proud. But I can tell you that I've brought a lot of these in. I've sold a lot of these. Um, they continue to sell well, particularly right now as prices get stupid crazy. Um, and they're only going to get crazier, obviously, as we get closer to the election. All right, let's finish up like we always do with pros and cons. So the biggest pro for me is cost. This dude right here is very inexpensive, but yet reliable. So that's the second pro. Um, I also like the weight, and I'm a 1911 guy, so I certainly like the way it points, right? It is a very um, easy gun for me to shoot um, and would be a very cost-effective way for someone to get into 9mm 1911s, which tend to be a little pricey. Um, cons. There's not a lot of aftermarket support for a gun that was last made 30-some years ago. So, you know, if you're looking for that perfect tactical, you know, holster, Kydex, probably not. Now, you can take it to custom guys and gals, and they'll make you um, a holster, right? You can make one in your house. You can, you can find someone who will make you a holster. But if you're going to go to Cabela's or Bass Pro and buy it off the store shelf, no. Um, mags also can be somewhat hard to deal with. But there are out there, and when they, they kind of seem to come in waves. And when they're you know, coming in, I suggest you buy a couple of extra mags and you'll be set. Um, so really, if you can deal with the lack of aftermarket support, and not really have easy access to parts, this is a decent little gun to have. Again, I think this would make a fantastic gun for uh, a boat or a camper, a cabin, or even a backup gun to keep in your truck or car. Um, it's also a great way to get into a 1911 9mm without breaking the bank. So, if you get a chance, I would totally check out the Star BM. I highly recommend it. And as always, if you like these videos, please do me a huge favor. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little, little bell icon for me. And as always, be safe and be good.